hello friends so in my last video i did the part two of the deformed tools and in this video we are going to move on to the next two which is the subdivision tool okay so let's begin so the subdivision tool can be found just next to the deformed tool okay this one where my mouse cursor is this is the subdivision tool and it forms part of the 3d modeling tools okay so as i said in my earlier videos uh once you come here and click on the 3d modeling tools you will have access to all these um 3d modeling tools okay so once you come here and click on the 3d modeling tool sets you have access to all these tools and then the 3d modeling tool sets okay so our purpose for today or uh, or, or the agenda for today is that we are going to look or have an overview of the subdivision tool okay so let me switch on to a new layer here and to create a new layer all you need to do is to come here to the design layer right click on it come to new and then you create your new layer and i'm, I'm going to do an in-depth video on how to create layers classes sheet layers and, and as well as saved views okay but for the purpose of this of this tutorial if you want to follow along and if you want to create a new layer you can create it by default when you create a new vectorworks document or when you open vectorworks uh, you, you already have a layer created by default which is called the design layer but that is how to create a new layer just in case you want to create a new layer from scratch okay, basically the subdivision tool works in two modes here in vectorworks okay so basically you can create a subdivision using a subdivision primitive or you can also create a subdivision from an already created or from an existing geometry you can also create a subdivision that means you convert that geometry into a subdivision object so in this video we are going to basically look at the, at the first way of creating a subdivision object which is by using the primitive okay so to do that you have to come here to the subdivision uh, this subdivision tool here where the case is then you double click on it so once you double click on it you have this um pop-up window here where you have all this uh, subdivision primitives once you click on 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 it once you click on the sphere you have that it has additional primitives here cylinder cube torus square and so on alternatively you, you you can also come here to model come to create subdivision primitive then you have access to, to the same window here and then you can also uh, flow along you can also have this you also have the sphere the cylinder the cube torus and so on so i'm going to maintain the sphere here for the purpose of this tutorial i'm going to leave everything here i'm going to maintain the, the size here i'm going to maintain the iterations okay so the subdivision iteration basically um, uh, means the subdivision number or how many subdivisions you, you want to create on your primitive here and i'm going to maintain the three i'm going to click ok so once you click on ok you can come back to your scene here and click on any area in, in, in your drawing area to create the object so i'm just going to um, click on any space here see this area here and then you see you have your subdivision objects and once you have your subdivision objects you see that it's being bounded by uh, a cage okay so basically this cage allows you to transform the object within okay so once see once i click here i see i, I have this control okay I have this control uh, which I can use to transform the object. Have this control which I can use to I can use to transform the object. Okay, so you can see as I, I, I move the objects, you can see the object moves into that direction in which I drag it. So so the translation can be made in the x, y, or the z direction. Okay, so once I click and then move, you can see the object is transformed here. Okay, and we also have this this um, various operations that can be made to the subdivision objects. You have the transform mode, uh, you have the crease, you have the extrude mode, you have the split mode, you have the face over mode, and you have all, all these modes here. Okay, and under the translational modes, we also have uh, the translate and rotate mode, which is currently active here. So under the translate and rotate mode, you can basically um, move and make uh, translations. Sorry, and make transformations to the to the primitive in relation to the x y and z direction so once you can see once you once you move along this distance or along this axis you see the, the geometry is being stretched here once you move 
see the object the object is being moved here it's as simple as that okay so if say you want to move towards this direction okay so you can move it towards that direction you can move it towards this direction also you can also move towards that direction and you can also rotate it okay you can also rotate it here you can, see, you can also rotate it there okay so that's how basically the translate and the rotate mode works that's how basically it works okay and if you observed once you exit out of the uh, out of the subdivision mode you see you have this smooth um, geometry here but once you double click to get back to the subdivision um, editing mode you see that you have these faces okay so the faces only exist once you have the uh, or once you are working once you are modifying the object once you move out by clicking on the selection tool here or by clicking on x on the keyboard you see you have this smooth object here okay okay so to edit a subdivision object you have to double click on the object okay and then this uh, cage will reappear for you to work on so in so the next mode you have the scale mode also so once you click on the scale mode or once the scale mode is active you come back to your objects here and then you, you, you can scale the objects according to the uh, x y and z you can scale the objects so you can see the object is being scaled okay so you can see the object is being scaled let me fly over here okay so you can see the object is being scaled here Okay, so that's how basically the subdivision modeling works in vector works. Okay, so you have this um crease or uh, you have these additional operations that can be made. As I said earlier, you have uh, the crease, the extrude, and so on. We are going to divide them into separate videos so as to reduce the length of this video. So basically, so basically the focus of this video is to introduce you on how to create a subdivision using a subdivision primitive. Okay, so let me just quickly let me uh, delete this and let us create a, a new primitive using a, a different object. So to create a primitive, as I said, all you need to do is to double click on this. Edit subdivision tool here. You have this here. Have this pop-up menu. So the first time we use we use the sphere. This time around, let's say we are going to use um, say this torus here. And I'm going to maintain all these. I'm going to click OK. So once you click OK, you come back and click on any area in your scene here to create the objects. So once you click on it, you see the object has been created. Once again, we have we have this cage bounding the objects here, which allows you to transform the primitive within. So I move back to the translate and rotate mode. So once you highlight on the edges, it gets highlighted. Once you hover on the edges, you see it gets highlighted. Once you hover on the point here or the vectors, you see it gets highlighted. You can also hover on the face, you see it gets highlighted. So you can click here and then you can move it. Okay, as you can see, you can highlight this face and you can move it. Okay. can highlight this point you can click on this point then move it further okay okay so basically that's how subdivision modeling works allows you to model in a, in a free form manner allows you to model in a free form manner so i'm going to cut this video right here and in the next video i'm, I'm going to go more in depth into the other operations of the subdivision tool here okay so we we are going to first look at how to create a subdivision um from an already existing 3d geometry and then we are going to move on uh, to the crease mode we are going to look at uh, some some of those additional operations that that can be made to a subdivision object basically so in this video you have basically learned how to create a subdivision object um using a, a subdivision primitive okay by first double clicking on 
on the side edit subdivision tool and then selecting your your geometry and then clicking on anywhere on your scene to create the geometry so in the next video we, we are going to do a part two i cannot handle all the all, all the delicate things here in one video but I, i'm going to divide it into into many other videos so that i don't um increase the length of this video so i'll cut it here so in the, so in the next video we are going to also look at other um other aspects of subdivision modeling so thank you very much and see you in the next video